Get on. Right, right. Took pictures. Thought I stopped the recording. It's getting kind of hot, but um, another walking vlog. You know what it is. Discussion 101. Not necessarily. This isn't necessarily Operation Simp, so I'm not gonna uh, not gonna call it that this time. I'm not gonna call it uh, Operation Don't Sit this time. This is really just a, a discussion 101. And I really gotta get back on my job because I got the next three days off after this. And I'm pretty sure my job is gonna try to call me in on one of those days and I'm gonna need those hours. So on, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say within the next three days, on top of the fact I have the Ubisoft, uh, the Ubisoft, uh, what, what it is, Ubisoft Forward, that live stream coming up, I gotta do a reaction to that. And a reaction to like a few videos that I've been having on the back burner, I need to just get them out the way. Um, there's that, and I also gotta start organizing my playlist just to get it out the way. Because I've basically been, you know what I'm saying, just uploading and not really putting things the way they should be. So we definitely gotta get that in order i say we like y'all doing it but you know definitely got to put them put them in order so that uh it's no issue with that but i want to talk to y'all about something man and this one is necessarily isn't necessarily for the fellas it's for y'all to listen to but it's not necessarily directed towards y'all you feel me um it's a couple things I want to touch on in the coming days, man, about how the LGBT community, the AAIP, and the modern-day feminist community are being used as anti-black groups. And that's going to be an interesting topic. And, you know, anytime I talk about things that people think are going to be controversial or anything like that, it always ends up being, like, it always has... It always holds merit. It always has a good point to it that makes you want to listen. And I wish more people would tune into these things, I swear. But, you know, I guess that's just going to happen in due time as long as I'm being consistent, right? But, uh, but yeah, it's always a good point that I end up making. Uh, I'll make sure no cars are coming. But, yeah, I always want to um, make sure that... uh. You know, anytime I talk about sensitive topics like that, no reason why they're sensitive because of the climate that we're living in right now. They're not really sensitive topics. It's just just speaking facts that people try to avoid in order to live comfortably. You got to understand this world is one big illusion, especially these damn days. And some people have gotten so comfortable in the illusion. It's like this. The reality, the illusion of something happening the, the illusion of the possibility of something happening feels better than the reality of it not happening. Like, you know what I mean? And, um, it's really just, it's one of those things that people have to, uh, it's one of those things that people have to get used to uh, I mean, it's, it's one of those things people have to combat. Excuse me. I got to put the camera up closer to my face because the wind blowing and I noticed that anytime the wind blows, it, it muffles my sound. My, uh, it muffles my voice. But, uh, but yeah, it's people that... Oh, shit. It's people that get so comfortable in the illusion that the moment people try to bring reality in, because it's a hard thing maintaining an illusion. It's a hard thing maintaining, uh, you know, fake, uh, anything fake or anything pseudo. And the thing is, the people that's living in those illusions, they know that they're illusions, but they can't deal with the harsh reality that's outside of that illusion. So the moment you try to tell them yo, this ain't what it is, they start going crazy. And this when you get people committing suicide, and this when you get people doing a bunch of crazy ass shit that normal people don't do, 
is because literally it's because they stuck in the illusion. But I'm going to get on that later. Um, like I said, that video is going to be within the next three days. So make sure you subscribe. You know what I'm saying? ADS Play 101 across all social platforms. Twitch, Snapchat, YouTube, of course. Um, I said Twitch, right? Instagram. There we go. TikTok. There you go. But no, we got to talk about black women. I, this is, so black women. This is specifically targeted towards y'all and i hope y'all get every bit of offended as i think y'all are because white women necessarily they're not my community so i can't i'm not really targeting talking to them um anybody any other woman from any other community i'm not talking to them black women y'all my you know what i'm saying y'all y'all meet at the end of the day you know what i'm saying y'all mean something to me so it's something that i notice within that community because i don't hang around white girls like that I don't hang around a lot of, you know what I'm saying, Asians. I, I hang around them, but I'm not that much. So I, I, I can't tell if they're participating in this or not. But black women? Oh, yeah, I know y'all participating in this nonstop. I have to ask y'all. What is it about... Matter of fact, let me just say it like this. Why do y'all always ask for something... And then forget what it is y'all asked for. And then when y'all get what y'all originally asked for, y'all get mad as to why it's happening. When you asked for it, you just forgot that you asked for it. But the universe ain't forget that. God ain't forgot it. Right? And I'm segueing this into a very sensitive subject. Again, it's not sensitive because that the topic is actually sensitive. It's sensitive because you got people in this era who are just, again, going back to their original point, living in that illusion. And we have to get people, in order to get this world back right, bro, we have to get people back into reality and teaching them how to deal with their problems rather than try to mask it, mask it by living in a way that they shouldn't be living. Why is it that every group of black women that I have come across in my lifetime every last single one I don't care if it was at work I don't care if it was back when I was living in New Orleans I don't care if it was in or out of my family it, it, it just don't matter why is it that every group of black women feel like they need a gay man in their circle in order to validate their fucking femininity if I even said that right. Or let me say it like this. Validate their womanhood. Because I've seen groups of women. Group of black women that don't have that. That gay person in their group. That gay man in their group. And they're just. You know. It's like they're longing to have that one gay dude in it. For, for whatever reason. Let me ask y'all something man. Again, this is targeted towards black women. Why is it that, ha that y'all have forgot, has the generation now just failed to tell y'all or the previous generation failed to tell y'all or did y'all fail to listen? But do y'all not remember how there was a time when black women were getting made fun of? I'm not even talking about back in slave days. I'm talking about it was a time when black women, the body structure, the thickness, the voluptuousness, the bosom, everything that white women and other women of other ethnicities value now, do y'all not realize y'all been had those traits? The whole reason why this whole ass implant and breast implant culture even started was because white women were trying to be more like y'all you know, they had them uh, them thin bodies. Like, you go back to the original, like, you can go all the way back to the Renaissance days, right? You can even go back to the Renaissance days. The body structure of a, of a white woman back then 
was so thin, it was basically an ironing board. Basically an ironing board. That's, that's how thin they were. You know what I'm saying? And eventually it got to the point where, and again, I'm just paraphrasing. I don't know the, I'm pretty sure a historian can actually accurately tell you this in more detail, but eventually it got to the point where when you look at the, uh, like the valedictorian days, I believe that's, that was the era when they started wearing them dresses, they started imitating the body structure of a black woman. Because white women weren't thick like that. Like real spill. That dress gave the illusion that women had big, big round asses. And <laughs> considering that the women that were wearing those dresses didn't have that, you know what I'm saying? They were not, even though any people might argue their point, bruh, it's no, it's no secret that white women at that time was very envious of black women. I mean, very, very envious. This is gonna be a minute. I'm gonna get back to y'all in a second. All right, sorry about that, I had to cross the street and um, let the wind blow a little bit because I didn't want to muffle my sound. Basically, like, I'm gonna give y'all a story, right? And this is a true story. It happened over Facebook. And this is going to prove exactly what I mean by actually two stories, right? About how people, women were sitting there asking, a woman was literally sitting there asking for certain, certain things, got it, and then started bitching when she got the shit. Hey, let me, anybody turn it right here? Yep. Think I'm good. You know, straight. Alright, so basically it was like this. It was I'm not gonna say her last name, because you know, I don't need people. I know the internet is weird. They find out people full names, they'll go chase them down and try to try to start some shit. But it was this woman, this young woman, she had to be in like her twenties, like her early twenties. Her name was Shyler right light-skinned girl look real attractive but she was a fucking doofus and i say that very much so because she was i remember one day i was just you know on my timeline and i remember how i remember how she literally had asked in detail Like, where, let me not say it like that, because I'm, I'm going to try to do it in order. So, two weeks prior to the moment that I'm originally talking about, she had asked, she had made a mention, I can't remember what she said verbatim, but she mentioned something along the lines of how she loves how gay men are, and she wished the world had more of them, Right? Literally, that was the, the, the point of her message. Um, or, or the point of the comment that she made. That she wanted more gay men around because she liked them. She liked being around them, right? Now, when this happened, I made a comment on her. I said something along the lines of, you better be careful what you ask for. Like, why would you sit there and ask for more gay men to be in the world when... Y'all are already complaining that they don't have enough men in this world for y'all to have anyway. And she got mad at me, of course. You know, the typical thing, like, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. Shut up. Stop hating on gays. You're a hater and all this. And I'm like, whatever. Then precisely, I would say, like, at, at the very least, like, two weeks after that. Like, precisely, like, two weeks after that situation. I remember she had she had made another comment. I could chill right here for a bit because normally I just chill right here whenever I'm making a video. 
she made another comment, right? And the comment had said, I don't know what caused her to, uh, you know, to feel that way. But she made another comment and she said, and I quote, where are all the real men at? Now, remember, two weeks, two weeks prior to this, she asked. She, she made a mention that she likes gay men and she wished they, the world had more of them. Right. Then two weeks and then I commented on her. On her saying that about how y'all always complaining that there's not enough men available. And then here you go asking for more gay men. They, they, don't, they don't want you. <laughs> they want the men that you're after. So they can increase their options. But she did that. And then two weeks after that comment, literally two weeks, it was at, at the very least two weeks after that comment, she made another statement, where are all the real men at? Then when I commented under that one, like two weeks ago, you were just asking for gay men. Two weeks ago, you were literally asking for the gay, for the gay dudes to be more around. So how the fuck can you ask for one thing and then, and then two weeks later ask for something that's counter to what, you know what I'm saying? You just said that you want it. Like, you gotta make up your fucking mind about what the hell you want. Either you want what's for you or you want what's not for you. You can't ask for more fucking poison and then get mad that the poison is killing you. That don't make no goddamn sense. But again, you got these type of women out there that are so fucking stupid that they want what they want when they want it. And the world has never, ever worked like that. I mean, never worked like that. The world doesn't, the world responds to what you ask for. And then when it, then when it asks for it, the world responds to what you ask for. And it gives you what you ask for. And then when you get what you asked for, you can't be mad at the fact that you asked for it, even if you forgot. You got to remember, oh, shit, I did ask for this. You know, and you got to deal with the consequences of that. So they say, be careful what you ask for, be careful what you wish for, what you wish for, because you might forget what you asked for and what you wish for. And then when you get what you originally asked for, wish for, you can't be mad that you got it. You know what I'm saying? Another story that happened on Facebook, right? So, you know, I got a lot of friends on Facebook, obviously. Um, not my real friends. I call them Facebook friends because that's exactly what the hell they are. But somebody had um, posted something on, you know, on the timeline. And the video was basically, you know, a training. So I could tell right away. Like, I'm from New Orleans. I can tell when somebody's, you know, it's not that hard for me to tell. So I knew right away. And on top of that, the dude still had a five o'clock shadow across his his damn jawline that <laughs> that he didn't get rid of. But anyway, so the dude, you know, he dressed like a woman. He had, I guess, like a stuffed bra or something like that. I guess he had like a stuffed bra. Um, I guess he, you know, he had like a stuffed bra. He had a wig on, and he had on like a tank top with a with a dress or uh, with a skirt on or something. I, I'm assuming that's what it what it, what it was because. The camera only covered the top half, but basically it was a man trying to dress up as a woman and shit like that, right? And the dude was trying to sing, and even his voice was like, you could hear the, you could hear like the, the I guess you say the manliness through the voice he was trying to disguise and trying to make sound like a woman voice. And it was so confusing and hilarious at the same damn time, yet sad, but you know, I made a comment and, and, you know, I, before I even said anything, you can go in the comments, right? And you could see every, you know, all these black women sitting there just applauding this and embracing this shit. And I'm just like, do y'all not, I made a comment. I, I said, do y'all not realize that y'all sitting here applauding for somebody living a lifestyle that's trying to replace y'all? And then this one, you know, there's always got to be one brave soul. And I swear... I tried to go back and find this, uh, this thread, because I wanted to take pictures of it and go back home, edit this video, and just like show it. 
and maybe like you know just just edit out like the the names besides my own but i wanted to show y'all exactly what the hell happened and unfortunately the original post ended up getting deleted so i couldn't get and i was mad as hell because this it, it happened sometime after that that uh that situation that I wanted to go back and find it, and I I, I couldn't find it because the, the the original post was deleted, and I don't know if it was the girl that was you know trying to debate with me on it, or if she had um I don't know if she was the one who had posted it or if it was somebody else, but I know when I went back to find that thread, the original post was gone and I couldn't find it, so I was like fuck. But basically, it was two people trying to come at me. It was one gay dude and it was this black woman. So the gay dude right. He made one of the stupid... No, actually, it was another girl that is not related to this uh, situation that made a comment that I remember. And this dude, he kind of said something along the lines of that. It wasn't the same thing, but it was, was kind of along the lines of it. Basically, it was somebody who is standing to get something so hard and so firm, that means you secretly want to be it. I When I tell you I told this motherfucker up, and just shut his shit down. You know what I'm saying? Like, you cannot... Like, why the fuck would you say something stupid like that? So, because I'm standing against something that I know is wrong, even though y'all not coming out here... We're talking about the lifestyle. How harmful it is to society. You're sitting here putting this shit in cartoons and you're influencing kids to go be like this before they even have a chance to know what they even like in the first place. You're telling them this is the way to be. You got drag queens going to fucking elementary schools and preschools reading books to them about being a damn drag queen like it's you if you cannot see a matter of fact before i continue with that you know it was um a time where people used to call out the gay agenda and it was a group of people that used to always tell us oh the gay agenda don't exist or the gay agenda isn't real when that shit went full force, all those people that was telling us the gay agenda didn't exist, all of a sudden they all got quiet. You don't even hear them motherfuckers no more. You don't hear them no more. Because right now, the people that was telling y'all about the gay agenda the whole damn time, it's nothing for us to even say anything now because it's here. It's here in full effect. And when we could have did something to prevent this wave from happening as bad as it did, because it was going to come regardless. But it wouldn't be as in effect as it is now because what what is the downside to this there's more babies not being born there's nobody to replenish the earth at the end of the day because you're living a life that says that you don't want to do that and on top of the fact you have other women in society who already feel like it's a bad idea for them to even have kids you know what i'm saying and they think that they just gonna go to a, to a fucking adoption agency and just adopt. If, if people stop having babies, you ain't gonna have no kids to adopt. But it's like going down a dangerous road that other people have already traveled down. It's like, we know the danger that's down there. We know what's coming. And we, we as most of us who haven't been down there, we have enough foresight and enough, um, enough of an open ear to listen to people who have been down that road and say, look, it, you know, don't go down there. It's kind of like when you have people in this world that put their hand over fire and they found out that it burnt and they try to warn other people that, yo, don't put your hand over fire. And then you do it. And then you get mad that you got burnt. Like, well, we tried to tell you. But just because you don't know don't mean we don't know. Just because you don't understand don't mean we don't understand. You know, but regardless. um, But yeah, going back to the original uh, story. So I'm in the in, in the comments. I'm, I made a response, you know, basically asking them, why do you sit there and encourage this type of, you know, thing and then getting mad when there's no dudes available for you? And this gay dude uh, around this time, you know, I was never uh, good at taking selfies. So I would say like a month or so prior to this, you know, I decided to take me like a selfie or something. You know what I'm saying? Just to, uh, you know, just to get more familiar because I wanted to get more comfortable with taking pictures. As you all know, I got a clothing line. I was trying to start back then, which is, you know, I got it off the ground now. But, um, and being that I wanted to, you know, obviously model in the clothes and all that, I had to get more comfortable in being in front of the camera. So I started taking pictures more often, you know, just little selfies in the bathroom, just anywhere I was. 
And one of the pictures that I took was me in a tank top, right? And, and, and just a regular white wife beater or whatever, right? So when I took the picture, um, you know, obviously I left it up because I didn't think nothing, nothing of it. It was just, you know, just a regular picture. When the dude made a comment stating that, you know, people who stand so firm against that, that means you secretly want to be it. He literally went and tried to search through my pictures, found that particular picture and reposted it in the thread and tried to make it seem like I was doing some gay shit. Dude, it's a regular fucking picture. And when I shut his ass down, he stopped replying after a minute. Cause I tore his ass up so fucking bad, he didn't want no more. He no no homo, but he didn't want no he didn't want no um you know he didn't want no more smoke. After a while, he got the fucking message like you know, come on, bro, you ain't gonna you can probably shut somebody else down, but this is somebody who who understands what the fuck this is and you know what I'm saying what uh what this represents and what and what the damage what the damaging effects of this would be. You know what I mean and. You have to be willing to stand tall on that, regardless of what comes your way. So, after this, you know what I'm saying, after the gay dude, you know what I'm saying, stopped replying, uh, you know, the conversation was already over at that point, because I feel like I made my point, it was whatever. You know, you got that one brave soul that tried to reignite the bullshit. Black woman comes over there, you know, comes in the comments, and she starts making comments about how you know, I was wrong for feeling this way. And I'm just like, bro, you, you sitting there. I, I just seen a a, 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 a a reply you made earlier stating that, you know what I'm saying, that gay men were better than, than, than you know, than, than, uh, than any straight man. This exact woman was the one who said this. And I'm just like, really? You're going to come in here and tell me that I'm wrong, but you're sitting here applauding this. But yeah, I go to your thread and this wasn't Charlotte. This was a completely different other woman. But I go to your your page that you left on public. You know what I'm saying? Um, you had put on there that, you know, you enjoy the company of gay men more than straight men because gay men don't try to hit on you gay men don't want you but then you sitting here bitching to me telling me that this is like you're not you're, like let's think about this here like have y'all got has, has this world gotten so fucking confused that y'all forget like at the end of the day i don't care what religion you are what path of life you took one thing's for certain one thing is absolute truth is universal it's no such thing as your truth it's the truth and then there's the lie and every day you wake up you got to decide which side you want to stand on your truth does not exist. If the truth is always on your side, something's wrong. Because you're not always right. But with that being said, um, I had, uh, you know, went to back and forth with me. Eventually, she stopped replying because I told her ass up. And she didn't, like I said, I wish I could have found or took pictures of that thread so y'all can see exactly what I said to this woman. Because it was so, like, and I kept calling. It was funny is that I remember calling her out on the shit that she was doing. And then she made a reply that did the exact same thing that I was calling out in a reply prior. It's just one of those, like, I'm telling you that you're sitting here acting like this. And then you make a reply that backs up the fact that you're acting like this. So it's just, it's stupid as hell. Cause I don't understand why the hell you got women out there that will sit there and bitch and complain about there not being any men available. I mean, now they're starting to wake up. Now you start seeing more women, you know, coming out and saying, you know, on, on Instagram and on other social media platforms, on Snapchat and what have you. And they're saying that, you know, they want, you know, men to come back, real men take a stand and all this other shit. But these be the same women that sat there and y'all applauded all the gay shit from years ago. Y'all were the women that was telling guys like me, shut the hell up because... We didn't know what the hell we was talking about when it came to, um, you know, trying to stop this homosexual trend from taking hold because we know that it's people that, that are, that just feel like they homosexual. They just feel like they just, they just like that. 
And um, then you got other people that's influenced to be that. Be it because they were around the wrong people, you know, birds of a feather flock together, they're easily influenced, or because they went through some, tra some traumatic experience that made them that way. You know what I'm saying? You got girls out there who are lesbians right now because their fathers or their uncles or a male best friend of theirs, you know what I'm saying, traumatized them, be it sexually or otherwise. Like, they, they created that distrust between themselves and other men that they may come across who aren't uh, gay or who might take interest in them. You know what I mean? And that's fucked up because at the end of the day, those men are the ones to blame as to why that, that girl is living this living this way. And, um, you know, it's, it's really one of those things that, you know, like, like, like I mentioned in the last video, it's so much easier to just say that you were born a certain way rather than confronting the problem because the strength that it takes to confront that problem in the, in the process to heal from that trauma, that, uh, that trauma is so much, it takes so much effort and so much work. And I didn't necessarily go through that, but I've been through other traumatic experiences to where I know it takes a lot of strength to do that. And some people, they just, they don't want to fight that. So they'll just cave in and they'll become something that they were never meant to become. And at the end of the day, bro, again, I don't care what religion or whatever it is you want to say that you're a part of. Ultimately, as human beings, our purpose is to reproduce organically and naturally. Because we, al we already have our equipment meant, meant to, you know what I'm saying, to bring new life into this world. That's what we were supposed to do. Life dies off. Life gets born. They have their time on this planet. And then they die off and new life comes in. But right now, it's like there's not enough new lives coming in to replace the ones that's dying out. Because now, in the future, you're going to see a lot of decline in, um, in baby births. Because the people who are taking over, unfortunately, are pushing this shit, again, through cartoons, through video games, through movies. And I'm not saying people can't have the representation, but at the end of the day, they're literally pushing that ideology to the, to the up-and-coming the up generation. And they don't know how the world works. They don't get that this world is dangerous. They're just being born in it and being left to survive on their own. You know what I'm saying? Because parents aren't really putting that emphasis on being a parent and being that guardian and that protector that they're supposed to be. And, you know, it's, not, it's no real parenting going on. So you have parents out there who are giving babies, but they're still children themselves. They're not ready for the responsibility of being willing to tell a child, tell a child no, even if it means that they want to sit there and throw a tantrum and whine all damn day. You got to understand this is for your greater good because this world is fucked up. But, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a sad 